Hey guys, this is Ariana. Um, this is my channel. <laughs> I know it's been a little while since I've made an appearance and <laughs> said hello and made a video. So I thought I would do all those things in one moment and <laughs> just say hey. Um, so September's been really crazy busy for us and I'm not amazing at making videos anyway. A lot of my footage you'll notice is actually what I filmed for Instagram, so I apologize for the phone footage, but it's just where I'm at right now. So uh, I hope that you enjoy this. This is the making of the Priestess of Chash, and um, it's a piece that I created for a show, Halloween theme show, um, hosted by the Cactus Gallery in Los Angeles, California. Um, it's a group show, and there's a, a lot of amazing art, um, and it is in one of the coolest locations. It is called The Last Bookstore, and it is right in Los Angeles. I am in Canada. I am not going to ever go, be able to go there, especially not right now. So, um, unfortunately I won't be there, but I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes of what it was like to make, and, um... Yeah, just just the whole making process. So for with no further ado, we'll go to the time So this is my drawing layer. It was really difficult for me to create the drawing at first. I used like three different references and made up the rest. Um, a lot of it was invented. I would like to think my three different models. I had a model who modeled the color for me, the colors I wanted to use, and then I had the, the reference that you see of the woman. She actually um, was a reference on an app for drawing, and um, I, her name was Amanda Darling, so thank you, Amanda. And then a very kind friend of mine modeled the hand for me. Um, so a lot of this was drawn from my fascination with Cleopatra's exit from this plane of existence. And um, the hand in particular I knew was going to be difficult and that it was going, because I don't know how you hold a snake to your neck, like it, that's really unusual, but um, I wanted to get that, that moment that that last gasp that look of shock <laughs> and i think amanda as the reference there really got uh, the look down more than i even could have thought of it like it, it's just a perfect expression of, of shock so and um and then the rest is just creating depth um, imagining her dress. I, I think I painted that one twice and her bracelet. Um, the ring was actually my friend Madeline who, thanks Madeline, <laughs> shout out to Madeline, um, who modeled the hand. That's her engagement ring I believe. Um, and then, yeah, so the background was really interesting because I wasn't gonna go there with the spaceship and then I thought I just I just gotta do it I I gotta use this glowing green paint from Gapka and you'll see why when we turn on the black light I think that I repainted this background three times it just was never quite right uh, I felt like it just needed more drama more drama and I mean, I guess you can tell I really love drama. I love the careening background and her expression of panic. Um, I love all the very in-your-face colors. Um, I don't know why, they're just super fun. <laughs> I uh, really, I felt suited this piece. So, I don't know about you, I don't know what you like to listen to while 
you're creating. But for me, um, for this piece, I listened to some ancient aliens, of course, um, because I, I've always been fascinated by those sorts of unexplained things, and there's so much in Egyptian history and religion that still to this day we don't fully understand. And the whole alien phenomena, especially being shaped like a pyramid, it's hard to resist as an artist to go to those fantastical places and wonder about those things out loud. And, and I, I really enjoyed how it came out. It took a lot of work, definitely. It was probably about a month of painting and preparation. As you can see, the sides are gilded in gold. So I did that. And then there's a lot of preparation that goes into each painting, um, which always makes them super fun. And here it is under the black light. Look at, look at the way those colors just are electrified. I, I love the way that came out. I never turn on the black light until I'm at the very, very end and it's totally done. I always love the effect. So I hope you enjoyed this making of the Priestess of Nichesh. Check out Cactus Gallery. Um, comment below. Tell me what you thought of it. Thank you for watching, and you can find me uh, on Instagram at Ariana Camps.